football is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head next. Zach Wheeler is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. What's your take on him, Dan? Matt, this guy's one of the best right-handed arms in the game of baseball. I was fortunate to be able to be at Philly Spring Training Camp a couple of years ago and watched him throw from the bullpen mound, and my mouth just dropped how good this guy is. He has that explosive fastball down in the zone, great assortment of off-speed pitches. This is one of the top pitchers in the game, and if he's on, good luck getting any knocks off this guy. First pitch, 4 o'clock. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, Lots of sunshine in the forecast. 83 degrees here at first pitch. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Castellanos is right there, one down. Batting second. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? Well, Maddie, if I could tell this lineup one thing, it would be let's get on this guy early. Day game in this ballpark. The sun starts glaring, starts getting later in the day. Those shadows start creeping in right around the time that bullpen starts getting warmed up. Got to find a way to scratch a few across early. Edmundo Sosa stands in as he looks at a called strike. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. That is third. The first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Next, it'll be Paul Goldschmidt. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now the pitch. That just misses off the inside for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. 3 and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut and he's looking to do damage. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Down in order go the Cardinals. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Jack Flaherty will be towing the rubber for the Cardinals. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Stepping up is Kyle Schwarber. He'll lead things off here in the bottom the half of the first. The Phillies, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball. Just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. It's 
softly down the line toward first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Hit hard, but right into the shift. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting second. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Yeah, I think Alec Bulb is certainly a guy we are excited to watch play. He hit over 330 last year. That basically means every third at bat he's getting a hit. Pitchers fear him because he can flat out rake. So no need to wait as here he is. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Carlson is there, two down. Batting third, the right fielder. Five. So the bases are empty with Harper. two gone now, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. First offering. High in the air and deep to left center field. Ranging back is O'Neill, And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. And this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. set for the start of the inning and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder Tyler O'Neill wheels and deals here's the first pitch the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one one and oh nope two and oh now so let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one behind the plate is Kenny Jansen you know, Kenny Jansen, Dero, he's kind of hard to figure out. Doesn't give a lot on the edges. He'll make you bring the ball into that plate. Yeah, Dan, Kenny Jansen is definitely consistent, and he'll reward pitchers around the knees. But on the edges right there, sometimes it's hit or miss. Now the 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. And he got him. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Here's Nolan Arenado. Out in front of it, strike one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Arenado is up over 1,200 career hits during his time in the majors. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Wheeler gets the sign. Here it is on 0-2. And, and the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Now 
And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Into the windup and the pitch. Base hit, line drive into the corner. He's around first, heading for two. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking two right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Yanni Molina digging in now as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. He set the 0-1. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Two-out double left stranded. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Nicholas Castellanos. His prior history versus this arm. Two hits in seven tries. First pitch on the way. A swing and a high drive to right center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with a bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. So next to the plate for the Phils, JT Real Muto. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here. But at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. Now the 1-0. -oh. Castellanos leads off second with nobody out. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. That is good. The first so here's how the Cardinals are positioned defensively. And let's focus on the captain of the defense, Yadier Molina. Future Hall of Famer, ability to control a pitch and staff and shut down the opposition's running game. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. One and oh, the count.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Uh, fooled him badly there. I mean badly. It's one and two. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. First offering. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Ground ball right side. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. Phillies lead this one one to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. First pitch coming, here it is. Carlson. Ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Just got a piece of it at 98 as this is fouled away. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. He stays alive, still two and two. The pitch. Struck him out. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Jack Flaherty. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Swing and a miss on the fourth ball, and he's deep in the hole 0-2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. That brings in Tommy Edmond, and he fouls this one off. He flied out leading off the ball game. The wind up and the 0-1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two.
Still a ball and two strikes. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order all via the punch out. The three of us are back with more following this. Bottom of the inning now. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Didi Dee Dee Gregorius. Not shortstop. Didi. First pitch of the A.B. now. Fouled off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. D.D. swings and belts a ball to right field. This is carrying well. Gone! A solo shot down the line in right as the Phillies have taken a 2 to nothing lead. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Batting number. And now, Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Up next for Philadelphia, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. So next to hit is Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And now the first pitch. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Bases are empty, one man out. And the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. Carlson is over and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. The second baseman, Alec. So now into the box is Alec Bohm. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, 6 inches. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Chasing after it is O'Neal. And he's able to get there on the long run. And he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. But the Phils tack on one more on this solo home run. We played three full. It's now 2 nothing Philly. And now here is Edmundo Sosa. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First offering. 
Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. The one two. Hit to short. Taken in by Gregorius. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. One man gone for the Cardinals in the fourth. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Wheeler sets his sights. Here's the pitch. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Now the 2 0. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Goldschmidt swings and hits this one very well out to deep left field. And this one is gone. A home run. It's a solo shot here for Paul Goldschmidt. And with it, the Redbirds have made this a 2-1 game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. So now to the plate, Tyler O'Neill. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh one, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. And now pitch on the way. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Every pitcher gives up home runs. Some more than others. But the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And that misses one and one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The 2-1 home. Is strike two swinging. This is why you pay the price of admission right here. Power on power. My money's on the pitcher. And he struck him out. His seventh for the ball game, and that ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Cardinals one.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Harper. First pitch coming. Here it is. You know, I doubt he wanted to get that type with the fastball there. But, hey, this is a guy you certainly don't want to let him get his arms extended. He's the kind of guy that can hurt you. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Two and one the count. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Pitch on the way. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here's the pitch. Lined hard toward right center, but this will be run down out there in the alley. A nice play by the center no, fielder center for field. the first down. Good contact to start yeah. out the inning. Thought he might Tough be on day. base with Tough some day. sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Grounded to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. The throw to first. He is out. Now batting. And here's Catcher. that one again with show Catcher. track. Great reactions to knock it down with the sliding stop. And almost just as impressive was the throw all the way across to beat the runner. Any way you look at it, a fantastic play. At the plate now, JT Real Muto. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They lead it two to one. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. Popped up. Hoskins in foul ground. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The catcher, number four, Yadier Molina. So the leadoff man retired here. That'll bring up Yadier Molina. First pitch on its way. The 1-0. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. And 
boy just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Next, it'll be Dylan Carlson struck out in his last trip to the plate. And that misses for ball one. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Nope. Two and oh. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. A fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. lifted down the line in left. Schwarber is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They're down 2-1. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and here comes the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, three. Austin. Here it comes. Into the windup. Here comes the zero and one. All one. Bounced softly in front of the plate. And there's one down now. The third baseman, number five, Bryson Scott. Striding in is Bryson Stott, grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. Stott, a 22-year-old, is normally at shortstop, although they've got him playing third base here today. Yeah, always one of my favorite things to do. You watch this guy today. Playing shortstop, you have time. There's rhythm. There's a timing to that position. Third base, man, step in and dive. Reactionary position. You have to come get it, go back on it. A lot of different things. This is a fun player to watch today. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Didi Gregorius. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We're through five here at the ballpark. Philadelphia is on top two to one. I can't stop even now to bat, Jack Flaherty struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. You know when a guy starts to get tired you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider as we just saw. Yeah. 
left side. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter, the second baseman, Tommy Edmund. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Tommy Edmund. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Wheeler's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And it's fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The one-two. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. Now batting. Shortstop. Edmundo Sosa. So stepping in is Edmundo Sosa. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals. They still trail it here, two to one. Now at the plate, here is Zach Wheeler. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Here it comes. Popped him up. Molina over to his right. He's got it one away. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop up to start the inning. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that changeup oh, makes him down. jump. A swing and a miss. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. One out, nobody on. And rarely do you see a player of his caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Two away now. Now back. Second that base. brings up Alec Bohm. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Mm -hmm. 
the 1-0. Liner towards second. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The right fielder, number three, Ryan. And Bryce Harper, Harper will dig in at the plate. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Now a swing and a ball hit high and deep down the line in left. And this ball is a home run. Two-run home run here for Bryce Harper. And the Phillies have opened it up now. It's 4-1. You know we've been cut. Sometimes see a price tag. Opportunity is never too much. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Just goes to show you, if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Here comes the Cardinal manager up out of the dugout, out to the mound. And he's going to make a move, as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. Five and two-third innings of work on his final ledger, as he was not particularly sharp from the get-go here. Alex Reyes, a six-foot-four-inch right-hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. Arenado has it. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh. It's now 4-1 Philadelphia. Paul Goldschmidt back at the plate now, and he's been the entire offense so far with the solo homer he hit earlier. First pitch on its way. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Up next for the Cardinals, the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. And now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Tyler O'Neill. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Not close. It's 2-0. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. A strike, and it's 2-1. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. Three and one to the Cardinals left fielder. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The three and one pitch. Is swung on and missed a full count now. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full.
The next 3 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. Wheeler into his motion with the payoff pitch. O'Neill swings and belts it to right. This ball's deep, and that'll get by and on through towards the wall. The relay, and that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Into the box, Nolan Arenado. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch, it's strike one. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. O'Neill, the runner at second with one away. Turned on down the line. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And the throw is wide as he couldn't keep his foot on the bag that time. And we'll have to see how they want to score that play. Standing in now, Harrison Bader. And he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And he fouls this one off. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. This is foul right side. The 0-2 once more is a called third strike down in the zone. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game, like it has here. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina, and a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Bounce to first. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's the Phillies four and the Cardinals one. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. Leading up for the Phillies, the first baseman. Three. Hoskins. First pitch on its way. Oh, and one delivery. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Ready with the 0-2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. 
Next up is Bryson Stott. He flew out in his last A.B. First pitch coming. Here it is. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. That almost got him. It's a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And that's the second out. Now that not shortstop. Didi Gregorius. Didi Gregorius is trying it again. And before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Now the first pitch. Ready with the 0-1. One ball, one strike. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Fielded cleanly, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Phillies down in order, but they lead it four to one. Is this redemption for my soul? Corey Knebel has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. So now to the plate, Dylan Carlson. He'll have a new Leading pitcher waiting for him as we begin their right half of the eighth. Always a tall Dylan task trying to rally back Carlson. in the late innings, but I think this game could still yeah. turn quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough Whoa, to score there. some runs. One and one. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. The 2-1 will not catch the zone, ball three. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. Now the three and two pitch. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Out in front of that one, may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. Oh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. Great day's work any way you look at it. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Corey Dickerson comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. His head-to-head -head numbers against Corey Knebel. He's hitless in three at-bats. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. 
Knebel has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today, at least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor-made, Matty V, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns nope. a-blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with, and more importantly, he comes out with an attitude, and that attitude is nasty, and he gets a lot of swings and misses. Outside. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. The batter number 19. Second baseman, Tommy. So the next to bat will be Tommy Edmond. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They trail it four to one. Ryan Helsley is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Garrett Stubbs is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Now time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. The pitch. As it's grounded sharply to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back, left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Kyle Schwarber, no hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. Now here's the first offering. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Bases are empty, one man out. That evens it up, one and one. Now the pitch. Hammers it to deep right field. Looking up is the right fielder, and it's gone! Solo home run for Kyle Schwarber as they stretch the lead to 
Well, he turns on this thing and drives it out, extending the lead here to four in the bottom of the eighth. I wouldn't be surprised if that keeps the closer in the bullpen for now. No need to bring him in a non-save situation. Let him relax unless something happens at the top of the ninth that warrants getting him up. Up next for Philadelphia. The second base plate now, Alec Bohm. Pulled high in the air out to left field. O'Neill is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. Here's Bryce Harper now. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. Going back to that last A-B, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. As he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Last chance coming up here for the Redbirds. It's now 5-1. to one. Jerry's Familia comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one, and stepping in will be the very fleet-footed Edmundo Sosa. Sosa. First offering. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Comes set with the 0-1. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting, the first base. Our coordinating producer, Chris Gill, tells me in my headset to tell you not to miss our post-game highlights. That'll come your way at the conclusion of matters here this afternoon, right here on the show. The next to bat for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. He's working on a one for three thus far. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Good pitch there as he gets him to swing underneath it for strike one. A oh, one pitch on its way. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Stepping in now, Tyler O'Neill, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point.
And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about. And they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. 5-1 to one, the final total in today's game. The Philadelphia Phillies took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Zach Wheeler is the winning pitcher of record. So that will wrap. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Five runs, seven hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. For St. Louis, one run, four hits, no errors, they left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 48 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please Drive home safely.